We've got Star Wars, we've got Galador, we've got some classic space, but most importantly, this is the Technic Rough Terrain Crane, because we are here for Space Edition of Will, Will It, it Lift? Lift? Hi everybody, welcome back to Beyond the Brick. I am Boone Langston and I have with me a friend. He's my assistant today. This is Ben Kahn. How you doing today, Ben? I'm doing great. So I heard that uh, you got some comments on the first edition of Will It Lift that the crane wasn't performing as well as it could. Uh, what do you think about that? Well, I think there are a couple things. A lot of people in the comments, by the way, thank you for leaving comments on our videos. We love to respond and this is one way we do that. A lot of people in the comments said that I was using the crane wrong. They encouraged me instead of using the boom of the crane to try to lift, to set the boom of the crane exactly where I want it, mm -hmm. and then use the winch to lift the item. Now, one of the problems that I ran into doing that is that the winch, when I assembled the crane, was not really tightly wound, so it was just kind of binding up against itself. So I think one of the things we should start with is to completely unwind the winch, put some tension on it, and wind it under tension. Sounds good. So we're pretty happy with how the uh, winch wound up. We are going to start with Boba Fett. We're fairly confident that Boba Fett will lift, but we got to start with something cool. So here's Boba Fett. So buildable figure Boba Fett weighs 5.8 ounces. Now, the key here is to set the crane where we want the crane and use the winch to lift. Right. All right, we've got Boba Fett chained up. What do you think, Ben? Will it lift? I have a feeling it will lift. All right, let's say the magic words. Will, will it lift? It lifts. It lifts. <laughs> All right, what are we moving on to next? All right, next is the top of the Saturn V rocket. We're gonna see if we can lift the top section of the Saturn V rocket. Here we have the top of the Saturn V, which weighs 8.2 ounces. Ben, the question is, will, will it, it lift? lift? There it goes. It lifts! It lifts. All right, top of the Saturn V, 8.2 ounces, it lifts. Excellent. Let's. Let's move on to the X-Wing from 1999. This minifigure scale X-Wing from 1999 weighs in at 9.9 .9 ounces. Yoda used the force to lift the X-Wing. We're using the rough terrain crane to answer the question, will, will it lift? It lifts! That's kind of cool. I'm just imagining like, you know, moving a life-size X-Wing around with a crane. Yeah, It's yeah. coming to get you, Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> we just realized that we forgot to put the feet down on this crane, so we went ahead and did it. Now it is time for Darth Vader. What does he weigh in at, Ben? Darth Vader weighs in at 11.1 .1 ounces. All right, we'll see. Is the force with him? Will, Will it lift? lift? It lifts! <laughs> so here we have the Cosmic Fleet Voyager from 1986. It weighs one pound, 2.5 ounces. This is one of your favorite sets, right, Boone? It is. This is a set that I was just a little too young to have. By the time I wanted it, it was no longer on the shelves, but I had a catalog with this set in it, and I, I always wanted it as a kid, and I just picked it up at Brick's Cascade last year. Uh, the real question has been, will, will it lift? lift? Uh, oh, it's struggling. It, it lifts! Wow, that's amazing. We were going to do the middle of the Saturn V. It is basically the same weight, I think one ounce off of the Cosmic Fleet Voyager. We went ahead and tested it, it lifted. We're gonna go ahead and go to the Galador TDN module. What do you think, Ben? What's gonna happen here? Do you have any 
I, hypotheses. I think that it will get close, but I have a feeling that the clutch gear is going to give out before it can actually lift. For all of those dedicated Galador fans out there, what does this thing weigh? The TDN weighs one pound, 13.7 ounces. The question is, will, will it lift? lift? Oh. oh, it's struggling. Oh, it's almost there, but that clutch gear is, is just spinning. So what do we got? We got a clutch gear that's spinning. The thing is trying. I'm gonna shut it off. This is lighter than the Black Seas Barracuda. Yes. Which is what I could not lift in the first, first, oh, I wanna take some of this tension off. Let's see. So what do we got going on here? We've got the, the boom is all the way up. It is, is it all the way extended? Uh, not quite. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. We're gonna extend it all the way. Do we really want it all the way extended? Uh, I would think it'd be probably stronger than not all the way extended. Yeah. Okay. So we want it only as extended as it needs to be for the TDN module to be free from the base of the crane, right? right. Does that make sense? Yes. So maybe I'll come back a little bit. That's good. Does yeah. that seem That's okay? Good there, yeah. And is the boom, everyone in the comments was saying like, put your crane arm up, crane arm as high as it can go. They're like, put it as high as it can go. So maybe we could try that. Sure. Now it's like, if we move this here. All right, people, we're gonna try this one more time. We've got the boom angled as high as it can go. We've got the arm extended as far as it needs to be for the TDN module to clear the base of the crane. Okay. One more time. Will, Will it lift? Oh, oh, it was so, so close. close. Yeah, so what is that, the clutch gear? The clutch gear. It's, it's. It's spinning. The clutch and gear is spinning. Yeah. That is what's preventing it from actually lifting. I, I, I think the motor could could do it if the clutch gear weren't an issue. The rough terrain crane with a clutch gear will not lift the Galador. It, Galador is just too formidable a Lego theme. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we are going to swap out the clutch gear for a standard gear, and we're gonna see if this allows us to lift this without completely killing the motor. Do you think that's our only risk here, is killing the motor? What other risks do we have by replacing a, a clutch gear with a standard gear? It's good to have a clutch gear because uh, if there's too much strain on the motor, it prevents the motor from burning out. If we put this in there, we risk the, we risk the chance of burning out the motor. Um, but I'm willing to, to take that risk to see if it can lift the TDN module. All right, Ben has been successful at replacing the clutch gear with a standard gear. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna let him control it so that he's responsible for breaking this if it breaks. Here we go. The question is, will, will it lift? lift? Oh, look at this. Look at how far that's... Yep. What is it doing? It's compressing the... Oh... Ah. oh it lifts! It lifts! <laughs> wow, this whole thing seems to be under a yeah. great deal of tension. Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna put it down now. So, how close is the TDN module to the Black Seas Barracuda. Not close. Not close, I feel like yeah. it's it's about 12, 12 ounces lighter than the Black Seas Barracuda. That's correct. Would this have lifted the Black Seas Barracuda? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Black Seas Barracuda was the ship that foiled us in the first edition of Will It Lift. The Y-Wing is just two ounces heavier than the Black Seas Barracuda. Do you think we should hook up the Y-Wing and, and see to determine for sure that it would not lift. 
I think that sounds like a good idea. All right, let's do it. We're gonna lift the Y-Wing. We're gonna see if it happens. If it doesn't lift, I'm gonna be comfortable saying that the Black Seas Barracuda wasn't gonna lift. If it does lift, I'll be comfortable saying that the Black Seas Barracuda would lift and proving our first video wrong. What do you think, Ben? Should we should we go ahead? The Y-Wing weighs two pounds, 13.8 ounces. Yeah, just two ounces more than the Black Seas Barracuda. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. Will, Will it lift? Our boom is bending down a lot. Yep. Oh my goodness. There's movement. We've got movement. It's gonna also, run into my pod racer over here. Lots of bending. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, and the crane is lifting. The crane is oh, lifting. Oh! And I, 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 I'm comfortable saying it will not lift. Yeah, I, I, I think it, the, the crane, <laughs> the crane lifts, but itself. We decided to push this thing as far as it would go. Ben is holding the crane down. The motor did lift the Y wing. We've got serious bending going on here in the boom. It is bending both downward and off to the left. We have parts separating right here in the boom. So technically it lifts. Can it lift without falling over? Can it lift without bending? Can it lift without parts separating? No, it can't. Oh. I don't know what else to say about it, folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Ben, thank you so much for your help. Absolutely. We're looking forward to Bricks Cascade. If you've seen Ben's t-shirt, uh, we hope to see some of you there this March. If you want to see great LEGO videos every day, please subscribe to Beyond the Brick. And until next time, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Ben, I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs>